Today we came to acquire a big card with the same sum. Diamond shaped G-shaped ram colored woven bag. A total of four colors for everyone's reference. The crochet is used in a crochet with a 4.5 mm. The wire is selected for the Five Valley Milk Cotton. A single strand of high support for a single. The classic collision of the color of the checkerboard pattern. The upper body effect is also a good one. First of all, hit a living knot on the finger. Then lock the needle up to 85 braid needles. After 85 braid needles are hooked up to the end, we'll hook up with a standing ovation again. Then go back to the penultimate in the second one. We pick up the Li Shan on the back. Bring out one of the coils. This one is the first shot of the. And then the hook for the needle. Stir up the rails of the second needle with a needle in a braid. Pick out the second one of the coil. And then we continue to pick it up. A total of dozens of coils have been picked up. What about when the hour hand is finished? We can come up with a couple of high needles. Get on the first needle as a standing ovation. It doesn't count as a needle count. Starting from the second more than one more than one 23 45 45 78 78 90. Then go into the Xi in the first braid needle. Pick out a eleventh of the needle. The hook for the crochet wire. It's been a one time push through two coils. The winding has pushed through the two coils. The winding pushes over two coil windings pushing over two coils. Until the last two coils have been returned. The first line is over the end of the day. We then go on the hook for the second row. The beginning of the second line begins. We are in the inside of this thread, that is upright in front of us. Pass through the. Pick a line, and come out of it. A total of dozens of coils were picked up in turn. What about after the dozens of coil hooks are finished? Let's count on a few of them. The standing ovation does not count from the second hand count. 123 45 45 78 78 90. Now we've hooked up with dozens of coils. Then we go through the left side of the braid needle. One of the first to be hooked up. The inner part of the braid needle picks up a coil. As a eleventh of our own, as we are. A eleventh of the line of stitches for each line. It's all going to be a bit longer than normal. Then the crochet wire wound up 2 pin 1 back. 2 pin 1 on 1. Up to all the coils that have been on the crochet hook. After the end of the second line, the. We're starting to hook up the third row. The hook law of the third line is the same thing. Or pick up this coil standing needle in front of you. It doesn't count to pick out 10 coils in turn.
What about after the dozens of coils have been picked up? We go through the unused braid needle in the left side. The conditioning of the mountain. And pick up the side of the loop again. And then the crochet wound up with two stitches. Take a step back. Two pin one on one. Keep pushing all the coils on the crochet all the time. For the third line, we'll be on the hook. According to the same method, the a total of nine rows of crochet. We come to more than one next more than one 23 45 45 67 89 89. We are now on the hook for nine rows. We stretch the web sheet for a little bit. Basically just got a square in the back of it. In the end we hooked up with a row of locking pins. Normal regulation of the first coil in the first place. The crochet wire winding brings out a coil. Pull it straight into the more than one coils. So that's a lock pin for a single one. Then, in turn, hooked up to dozens of locking pins. After dozens of locking pins are hooked up to the end, we go through the unused braids on the left side. In the midst of the first pinholes, the hook weasels out of the zai, a lock pin. The coil here must have to strain some of it. And then hook up with a standing ovation. Next we start to hook up the second square hook. The law and the first square are the same. First the dozens of coils are picked up in turn at the left braid acupuncture point. After the dozens of coils have been picked up and then unused at the left hand braid needle, the first one on the top of the eye, pick up a coil as a side pin, then the crochet wire wound up two pin one back, two pin one on one, up to all the coils that have been on the crochet hook. Then go on the hook for the second row. Pick out dozens of coils and turn, in turn. Unused on the left side of the left side. The first of the needles to be conditioned. The hill singled out the zai for the zai. And then the two pin one back. Two pin one on one. Until you push through all the coils on the crochet. Co hooked up to nine lines in accordance with this hookah. Go on to the same as the first one. Continue to hook up with a row of locking pins. Continue to hook up with a third of the production and. A fourth of the production will be fine. Four square pieces at the bottom of the bag we've already acquired. The next and the left side braid needles unused. The first needle is hooked up to a pull-out pin. The end of the break. And then there's the time when the needle will be up. A little more than a little bit of braid to tear down. After doubling the square fold is the bottom of the bag. We're in the second lap, and it's in these places. Complement the rest of our rhombus, the rest of the rhombus. Then go to the other side. 
The rhomboid lattice on the other side of the remake. Our second lap is the one that rings the hook. Next in the edge of the first piece of paper. Change the line for another color on the other. Bring into the. Just hook up with a standing ovation first. Then, in turn, pick out dozens of coils. It would be more difficult to pick up the X pin than it would be. It's possible to swap a little bit of a hook needle. This big hole is where our leading position is in front of it. This hole in the middle of the drawing pin in this vertical line. That's what we're all about. The position of the pin of the X. Let's count on a few of them. It's not considered a standing needle. There's a total of dozens of coils on the crochet. Go through the side of the second piece of paper. In the midst of the first of the tremors. This one is the hole in yin by s. This one is the first of the pinches. Wear it in. Bring out the first coil of the xi. Two pin one back for the crochet wound. Two pin one on one. until the metamorphos have passed all the coils on the crochet. Next up the hook for the second row. Pick out dozens of coils and turn, in turn. Then goes into the middle of the second pin of the side. Pick out the side of the first coil. Two pin one on one. Two pin one on one. Up to all the coils that have been on the crochet hook. For the two lines like this, we'll hook up well. We follow the same way we do it. A total of nine rows in a row. After the nine row hook, after the end of the, we did the same as we did before. The line is a crochet line of lock needles. So what happens after the lock needle is hooked up? Let's take a look at the bottom of our pack like this. And then fill up with a diamond shaped block. And then continue to fill up the second rhomboid block. And then we continue to hook up the hook. And the first needle in the transverse direction of the second branch. Hooks a pull out pin to connect the coil pull a bit tight. And then hook up with a standing ovation. We started to crochet the second, the second rhombus. And pick out dozens of them in turn. Coil of the coil. Then the first of the third branch on the left side. The eleventh needle is picked up inside the needle. And then the two pin one back. 2 pin 1 on 1. Up to all the coils that have been on the crochet hook. The next hook is the same for the rest of the way. We continue to hook the rest of the rhombus. Now we've hooked up to the corners rhomboid this part. We still have the same and the same thing. The first needle transverse first pin of the next production is connected. Hook up the hook for a standing ovation. Go on and pick out dozens of them. The explicit circle of the
after the dozens of coils have been tuned up. We connect it to the other side of the production. The first of the first pinches of the Pick out a loop in the first needle on the other side. As an eleventh pin, the Then it's still a hook for the crochet. Two pin one on one. Two pin one on one. Up to all the coils that have been on the crochet hook. Next move on to the hook for the second row. One of the first to pick out dozens of coils. After the dozens of coil hooks are finished, the We're on the second pin point on the other side. The hook is woven out of the zai. And then the two pin one back. Two pin one on one. Up to the end of all the coils. Next up the hook for the third row. Pick out dozens of coils in the first one. And then there's the third pin on the side. In the midst of the project, a coil is picked up. As the eleventh needle goes on two stitches, take a step back, two pin one on one. Up to all the coils that have been on the crochet hook. The same as the square piece in front of it. After the crochet nine lines, the ninth row of the hook is finished. We hooked up with a line of lock needles. And the next piece of the piece. When the first needle was pulled out of the way, just stir up the outer braids for a tug of war, and then hook up with a standing ovation. Then go on to stir up the complete braid. As a needle like hook for the first coil. Then, in turn, the nine coils are hooked up again. The back hook law is the same thing. We, our bag body, is a crochet a black one green. A total of three groups of two sides of the hook. The most central, we're about to hook up a triangle. Next we take a look at how the triangle is hooked. And what about the fabric of the black? Our normal crochet one is a draw out pin. And then hook up with a standing ovation. Start the hook for the first line of the day. We normally pick out dozens of coils in the first half. Then in the midst of the first pinches on the side, pick out a eleventh of the needle, the two pin one and a two pin one on one. Back when there are three coils left on the crochet. We hook the needle winding to pull over the three coils at once. It's the equivalent of us dropping a pin in the first row. And then the hookup starts here, and the first one, in response to the two coils should be. We pick up a second coil as the first pin. Pick out nine coils in turn, in turn. And then there's the second one on the side. Pick out a shot as an X pin. And then the two pin one back. 
2 pin 1 on 1. Get back on the crochet and get it. It's still time to have the last three shots. Crochet wire winding disposable drag out of three coils on the crochet hook. And then the hook goes on. The place where the fourth lap starts is still picking up the second line. As a first shot, as a first. Pick up eight coils and turn, in turn. Then you hook up a coil at the third needle point on the side. Two stitches for a crochet wound. One step back and one back on the other. Back at the end of the day with three coils left. It was a one-off pullover. This is equal to a cut of a pin in the third row. We're just the way to go according to this. Each line is cut down by a single pin. A total of nine rows were acquired for the. When the hook goes to the last row, it's a good one. We've picked the finish line and should have just three stitches left. Hook pin winding has been dragged through the three needles all at once. That part of the triangle we just hooked up. Next up our normal crochet July rhombus lattice part. What about the next set? We just crochet on both sides. What about after the two sides hook up a sharp corner like this? We just started to come and subcontract the bags to the mouth. Feel free to find a needle that is in the needle. Bring a black line into the back of the. Then go ahead and tell a standing ovation. Crochet a short pin in each of the pints. We cut the needle, and it's all in this one. A cut of the needle at the junction of two slices. It's not going to be obvious that way. First on the last shot of the first green sub piece. The hook comes out of a loop. And then to go into the next green production. Hook out a loop, and give it to your mother. Crochet wire winding disposable pull over three coils on the crochet hook. In this way we will have two injections and for the sake of. The needle goes on to a normal crochet. Up to the junction of two pieces of paper. We're on the last needle of the last piece of paper. It's up to the hook to weave a coil. Then comes to the first of the next piece of paper. The needle is hooked up to a loop in a loop. Two stitches and a needle in one hand. Other needle like normal crochet short needles are only at the junction. We are the one that cuts the needle. Vertex location. It's also the one that doesn't need to cut the needle. It's okay to just normally hook up the hook. What about the wrapping, we're two rings wrapped in a black thread. What about the first lap, we cut the needle. The second lap is that there's no need to cut the needle. It's okay to just normally hook up the hook. Next we'll take it to the boil, and finish the two lap wrap. We came to hook up the handle part of it. First of all, fold the two sides. Find the center of the place. Mark a little bit with a tick button. Then the left and right each count for four stitches. From the fourth pin in the right side of the right. Go through the. Bring in a black thread to come in. Hook up the hook for a standing ovation. Went on to pick up nine of the coils and turn. And then the crochet wire wound up. The first needle just pulled over a single coil. And then the two pin one back. Two pin one on one. Up to all the coils that have been on the crochet hook. Then go on the hook for the second row. Pick out nine coils and turn, in turn. Pulled over a single coil for the first time. And then take a step back for two. Until you push through all the coils on the crochet. What about the hook in accordance with this hook? It's okay to always hook up to the right length. 
after the hook is up to the right length. We still hook up with a line of lock needles to end. And finally tell a pull-out pin wire break line. We keep some of the long sum of it. Then the right side is also the folio. To find the central location, the set aside four stitches on the left side. The right side is set aside for four to be sewn. And then take the handle. Up and down the top two pieces. Alignment stitching a needle to the destitching of a needle. The formation of a column, shape in which the 